spot CT and tumor and non tumor skeleton injury. Uh, Madam Chair, distinguished colleagues, what do I push here? Okay, this button. Okay, fine. The um, distinguishing feature of modern medicine for a long time has been introduction of hybrid technologies in different areas. These are the most advanced known small invasive methods that combine different technologies and multidisciplinary approach. At the same time, hybrid technologies didn't have total coverage. They are routine procedures only for advanced uh, centers and not spread among general medicine practice. The distinguishing feature of hybrid technologies is the compatibility of MRI, CT, or and RT, where we can evaluate the spatial distribution of radio farm medications and evaluate its functional structure and differential diagnosis, uh, diagnostics of different diseases with structural analysis method like CT and MRI, as well as accurate anatomic uh, localization helps to um, have uh, biopsy and RT procedures for those patients. We wanted to highlight the elements of the hybrid technology. The first is the search function, the identification of uh, zones and areas of pathology or ac of accumulated uh, pharmaceutical. Computer tomography is very close to diagnostic uh, outcome. That's the comparison with the structural condition of organs and tissues to the uh, actual observable uh, problems with pharmaceutical, the identification of destructions that were not identified with the radioisotope, and they also correlate with the second priority for their radioisotopic method. That's the uh, estimation of radiodynamics. In my hospital, we are trying to implement this approach in different components of clinical and diagnostical tasks. In primarily bone uh, tumor diagnosis, we try to spot primary and secondary spots as well as treatment efficacy. This slide could show that, could illustrate that for you. I'm not going to steal your time by reading out the uh, text there. I will tell you the gist of the slide. That's the uh, female patient with the uh, repeated osteoblastoma with the several surgeries. She came to our hospital for control and in neck area we ha we ha found the um, accumulation of radio pharmaceuticals that we identified with the radiography and then with CT. We found all the areas of hyperaccumulations of pharmaceuticals and compared them with the mineralized, highly mineralized nodes that were identified with the CT. Along with main nodes uh, in the area of main tumor, we also had the spin offs. These are the metastases to lymph nodes, although the original tumor was uh, interpreted as uh, osteoblastoma. And the further forecut uh, CT showed that 
at the stage of, uh, of fact CT, almost all diagnostic uh, tasks were sold. So that this uh, hybrid method is enough uh, in order not to subject patient to further investigation. This slide shows the uh, treatment opportunities with the uh, hybrid CT. That's a very um, challenging patient that uh, had osteosarcoma removed from his um, right pelvic bone, then he, uh, then he had the uh, metastasis in the upper bone. Then we spotted two more accumulations in the pelvic bone and in the sixth spinal bone. Here we can see the dynamics in uh, accumulation of pharmaceuticals after the ultrasound ab like um, ablation. We can see the picture uh, before and after treatment. We can see that the tomography shows pretty much the same, although the accumulation of uh, pharmaceutical degraded significantly to the um, negative values compared to the uh, natural physical level. That's how we got the um, solid proof that the isotopic component is extremely important for dynamics evaluation because it gives a rapid and extremely accurate re result. The same applies for the second metastasis that took place in the second uh, just the spine bone, we can see a normal picture at the spinography and the uh, lower accumulation of, of uh, tracers that was shown with the CT. As far as the uh, secondary bone damage, it's concerned that's our second priority for radio radiologists. That's the um, summary of our experience that and we do not pretend to expand it over all practices, but we believe that with negative uh, scintigraphic test and with the normal distribution of uh, radio tracer, we should uh, keep in mind the clinical picture. Unfortunately, among uh, radiologists, I, also, I often come across the opinion that the picture is clear enough, so there is no need to ask patients for pains. But that's not true. That's the key to understanding of certain things that cannot be tackled with instrumental diagnostics. Let's now move on to the next slide. That's the prostate the cancer. You can see pretty normal distribution of a tracer and the accumulation zone falls within the age norms. With the CT, we have identified two metastases that were shown with the uh, accumulations with three centimeters in diameter max. That's one more proof to the fact that this test method uh, meets the requirements of the existing clinical practice. That's the diffused uh, tracer accumulation with a female patient that came to our department. 
Our doctor studied her and concluded with the absence of bone damages. Next day, when she had CT, we identified the multiple spinal damages. We did a SPECT CT for her and we realized that there are hyperaccumulation zones in almost all areas that were accompanied with the multiple damage areas shown at this team. The dynamics evaluation for bone metastasis with the SPECT CT is also an important issue because scintiography and radiography and even CT can also is also prone to errors. When we see the accumulation of tracers after the chemo in a number of uh, areas, although we have managed to minimize those areas, they are still quite widespread. Doctors who lack experience in the area may uh, face uh, difficulties in interpreting these pictures with computer tomography and structural analysis methods. We we'll learn from them that the um, strengthening of bone structures in damaged areas does not necessarily mean uh, reparation. It may uh, be the sign of uh, metastasis revolution. Is that the sign for me? Okay, I got it. I'll speed up. We can see two pictures before and after the treatment. That's the proven reparation. When in the damaged area, we can see the mineralization of the damaged area, and accordingly, we can see hyperaccumulation of uh, tracer. Another part is reconstruction operations. Such diagnosis as uh, tongue-based cancer, uh, sarcoma of the low jaw, uh, treated. Uh, with very um, with a very severe effect in order to well minimize this effect we need reconstruction we do a reconstruction using uh, sampling transplate tibial bone iliac bone spatula sometimes and so we create that low jaw we combine different parts with titanic brackets. We have to assess the viability of the transplant, which is hidden by soft tissue flap on the vascular uh, pedicle, peduncle. Here we see the absence of accumulation of trace in the zone of transplant. And this is the success of uh, the example of successful operation, the increased accumulation of all fragments of transplant, which shows about blood uh, supply. I'm finishing. Thank you.